When I was younger, I loved to play sports. I was involved in just about any sport you can imagine. I was super athletic and highly competitive. At the end of first grade, I developed a pain in my left leg. My mom took me in to see the doctors, and the doctors just stressed it was a simple sports injury. By the end of second grade, which was only a year later, the pain had only gotten worse. I was walking home from school one day when I ended up getting an excruciating pain in my left hip and I was unable to walk home so my mom picked me up and carried me. It was at that moment that my mom realized that something was wrong so she took me back to the local hospital. It was at this point where the doctor realized that there was a tumor growing on my left hip and he informed my mom of this and ended up sending me to Iowa City for further investigation. In Iowa City, they did a full body CT scan and ended up coming to the conclusion that there was only a cyst growing in my left leg and that it caused a fracture. So there was no need to be worried and everything was going to be okay. The doctors in Iowa City ended up putting me in a full body cast for six weeks and told me that I needed to take it easy in order for it to heal. After about a week of being in a full body cast, the pain only got worse. My mother proceeded to call the doctors in Iowa City to inform them that I was only in more pain and that nothing seemed to help. The doctors told her to calm down and that it was just a simple fracture and I was going to be okay. They told my mom that my pain tolerance was super low and that I was just overreacting. Six weeks later when the doctors in Iowa City took off my full body cast, I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma bone cancer in my left hip. When the doctors took off my full body cast, they discovered a golf ball sized tumor in my left hip. By this time, it was far too late and they needed to amputate my left hip right away. They waited too long to discover the tumor and by this time it was able to travel to my lungs. Right then over the course of four to five years, received a total of over 10 lung surgeries. I received the maximum dose of chemotherapy at a very young age, allowed in a full grown adult. I was super sick, threw up all the time, was unable to eat, and was honestly just sitting on my deathbed. At one point in time, the doctors even informed my parents to just enjoy me while I was there because I wasn't gonna be there much longer. A Couple weeks later, a miracle happens. Chemo started to kick in and things started to look up. By the age of 12 years old, I was able to return to school as a cancer-free child. Six months later, I ended up having similar pain in my right hip. Doctors did a scan and ended up realizing that there's a tumor now growing in my right hip. Doctors performed radiation on my right hip, killing the tumor, but leaving the bone very frail. The bone ended up snapping, and I ended up needing to receive a partial hip replacement. Six months later, after recovery, I was about 13 years old, and I was completely cancer-free. This is where my fitness journey begins.
shit, that's like 